Governor Babajide Songolu has exercised the state prerogative of mercy by granting the re release of 246 convicted inmates and converting the sentences of 39 death row inmates to life imprisonment in 2023. The State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice Lawal Pedro made this announcement during the 2024 ministerial press briefing held at Alausa Ikeja to commemorate the first year of Governor Babajide Songolu's second term in office. Pedro emphasized that the state prerogative of mercy serves as a mechanism to address the alleviating and alleviating potential injustices within the legal system. Additionally, he highlighted that the Lagos state government has obtained more than 320 favorable judgments in various courts across the state over the past year, along with approving 100 plea bargains during the same period. We also have plea bargain applications that we also consider, which is to reduce and you know, decongest our correctional services centers. We are also prioritizing restorative justice. The hub, which was established in 2022, coordinates all restorative justice activities across the state. This is toward decongesting the docket of our court, as well as encourage peaceful reconciliation and quick dispensation of justice. We have received about 14 under the tenure, under the period we are considering, and most, some of them have been resolved while some are still ongoing. According to the Attorney General, the Domestic and Sexual Based Violence Agency dealt with a total of 4,641 cases of adult domestic violence and 2,976 cases involving children. They also addressed 118 instances of rape and successfully rescued 64 individuals within the past year. Pedro shared that during the same period, the Lagos State Special Tax Force on Land Grabbers received a total of 582 petitions, out of which 120 were successfully resolved. We have the Lagos State Tax Force on Land Grabber. Ladies and gentlemen, the tax force was specifically set up to free Lagos from the menace of land grabbing activities and illegal dispossession of land and properties within the state. Since inauguration in 2016, several enforcement have been made to serve as deterrent to other intending land grabbers in the state. I must, call, I must tell you that that office will soon be undergoing reorganization to make it more effective. And with the already uh, agreement and support of the Inspector General of Police, we have a new deal in the state against land grabbers. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.